Hi there, I'm Susan Beyer with Audience Audit, and this is Fun With Research. So glad you're here with me today. If you've been following along, we're talking about the findings of our agency audit research, uh, which talked to 350 agency leaders about the kinds of challenges they're facing and how they're dealing with them. Um, and if you remember, or if you don't remember, we found five segments in the research. You'll see them right here. Thought leaders, staffing strugglers, change seekers, cobblers, kids, and loyalty builders. Um, so just a refresher on these, because they're really different from each other. Thought leaders doing very well, so they have a strong thought leadership reputation. Staffing strugglers really having a hard time recovering from the 2022 havoc around employment to the point that they are unable to take on the new business that they would like because they simply don't have the staff uh, that they need. Change seekers really feeling sort of overwhelmed at the changes in the industry, um, competitive situation heating up for them. They feel like client expectations have changed a lot and really aren't sure that their agency is going to be able to survive all of this. Cobbler's Kids, near and dear to my heart, we have long been one of these agencies uh, who prioritizes marketing the agency way behind any kind of client work. So they rarely get to it. When they do get to it, it's pretty haphazard. And then loyalty builders who have done a really extraordinary job of retaining clients. They too have a thought leadership reputation and they've put specific programs in place to keep clients uh, really powerfully. The thought leaders and the loyalty builders are doing much better in terms of resilience than these other three uh, agencies are. And the fascinating thing is, despite that difference, these agencies don't look any different from each other and the respondents don't look any different. It's not a difference in the age of the agency owner or how long they have been in business. Um, there's not a difference in the kind of work that these agencies are doing. Uh, and for the most part, there aren't any agency characteristics that differ between these groups. Now we have a couple of exceptions to that. The Cobbler's Kids and the Change Seekers, light orange and green on this chart, um, do tend to be smaller. They have a smaller percentage of agencies in them with 10 or fewer employees, but, but they also show up at all agency sizes. So while it's a lean, it's not that they're all small. Um, and then the loyalty builders, interestingly, um, are more likely to offer digital services, which gives us a clue about something we're gonna see later that I think is really fascinating out of the study. Um, but other than that, these folks don't look any different. So if you're watching, there's nothing definitively uh, setting agencies up to be a thought leader or a loyalty builder in terms of their characteristics compared to everybody else. Um, any agency can be in any of these segments. They're really mindsets about what they prioritize, how they think about the world and the kinds of things that they're dealing with, much more than they are any sort of uh, characteristics. Um, but what the research did identify was that there are three strategies that are that are very prevalent in these two segments that are doing really well, that are what I call unbeatable agencies because they just are more immune to some of the strife that the rest of us experience. So three strategies that they are using that the, the rest of us are not using as effectively. One of them is agency marketing, one of them is client connection, and the third is workforce management. We're gonna be talking about each of these in depth in the coming week and the data around them. I hope you stick with me. I look forward to seeing you next time on Fun With Research. Thanks for joining me.